of a quick welcome address by the UNESCO rep. Youth, UNESCO Youth for Peace workshop in Ghana. And um, I'm standing here in representing the officer in charge of the UNESCO Accra office cluster. His name is um, Mr. Tiso Dos Santos. So I'm standing here to read his speech on his, on his, behalf, on his behalf. My name is Dr. Richard Watson, and I am the UNESCO Accra office communications and information rep. Ghana, Ghana's destiny seems to be the first and the leader and the pace setter in the sub region. UNESCO, as the first UN organization in Ghana, is pleased to facilitate a workshop on youth and peace building in Ghana. UNESCO itself was founded in 1945 after the Second World War. The government, the, the, the government declared that since wars begin in the minds of men, it is in the minds of men that the defenses of peace must be constructed. These defenses of peace is to be achieved through the intellectual and moral, and moral solidarity, solidarity of mankind, meaning that UNESCO's mandate will be to foster world peace through education, sciences, culture, and communication. Currently, reflecting on recent events in Tunisia, Egypt, and Syria, one cannot un underestimate the role of the youth in good governance and peace building in the world today. Peace-oriented behaviors and attitudes, similar to conflict-oriented behaviors and attitudes, can at least partially be learned. Hence, peace building programs should focus on integrating the youth within the social and political processes and institutions in order to foster efforts to mobilize the youth to perpetuate conflict. More recently in Ghana, our country fairly progressed through its immediate past in elections in 2008. We can call, we can all, we all recognize that it was a close call. Campaigning in the runoff elections was less amicable, with ethnic slurs and threats of violence. And as we all know, the next elections will take place in December 2012. And there's a need for pro proactive measures to promote peace cultural tolerance, especially with the youth who are increasingly being empowered by emerging technologies. Hence, within the framework of fostering peace and creating an enabling environment for freedom of expression through the youth, UNESCO is today working with youth groups and civil society organizations to engage the youth in good governance and peace-related activities in Ghana. UNESCO has been instrumental in creating and supporting platforms for peace, for freedom of expression, cultural tolerance and preservation, and empowerment of the marginalized into better decision making and participation in consensus building. These platforms include community radio stations and training workshops for women and general, women journalists and youth groups across seven West African countries, namely Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Nigeria, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Togo, and Benin. Some of our projects include um, helping Radio Bulisa in the northern region in Ghana, and also helping build gender into the communication curriculum in the African University of Communication in Accra. Today, we are taking a step further to enable youth groups to engage with key stakeholders of governance on peace building in Ghana. This workshop questions how the youth can become a model of tolerance appreciative of diversity in faith and associations, engaging in entrepreneurial opportunities, embracing plurality of voices, and treating others with fairness, respect, and dignity. These questions will be answered through three open forums, politics for peace, peace demands tolerance, and dynamics of employment and peace. The focus of UNESCO is to provide more opportunities for the youth to broaden their engagement in social, political, and public life, whether through undertaking projects for the betterment of society, establishing constituencies of peace, or, or benefiting from programs that grant them access to gainful employment. We encourage your participation and hope that you will share your perspectives and experiences in this workshop. Resolutions and recommendations from this workshop will contribute to policy-making processes on good governance in Ghana 
and in other countries in the sub-region. Ladies and gentlemen, we envisage you to continually support these platforms, and we ourselves will support them for peace building through the youth. Thank you.